The funerals have been held in Istanbul for some of the victims of the 39 people killed during the New Year's Eve attack on a nightclub there. Turkish police are still hunting for the gunman who opened fire on club goers in the early hours of Sunday morning. Kim Mogyan has more. The attack took place at Istanbul's popular Reyna nightclub about an hour into the new year. The gunman began shooting at random people in the club using an automatic rifle and later fled the scene. Authorities are still searching for solid evidence on who was behind the attack. According to the information we received from the police, there was one gunman. There weren't multiple gunmen. He was wearing a coat and trousers. He went inside as he opened fire all around. And we were informed that he was wearing different clothes inside and he tried to get out. Our police forces are continuing to assess the information. Later in the day, the police lifted a blockade of the area, allowing people to visit the site and mourn the victims. Local residents said that many had mistaken the shooting for fireworks until they saw people fleeing. First of all, everyone uh, thought it was fireworks because of Happy New Year. I mean, uh, when uh, police came, uh, I thought it must be a very terrible thing. Then when I saw a blood coming outside and people were uh, falling down because of shooting. That was a terrible thing. Turkish authorities say that of the 39 people killed, 15 were foreigners, including citizens from Israel, France, Belgium and Tunisia. 13 are still unidentified. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said that terror groups are trying to create chaos and destabilize the country. World leaders denounced the attack. The UN Security Council condemned the massacre in the strongest terms, calling the assault a heinous and barbaric attack. German Chancellor Angela Merkel sent her condolences to the victims. U.S. President Barack Obama also promised to render appropriate assistance to the Turkish authorities. Kim Mogyan, Arirang News.